In the next couple of lessons, we're going to look at a feature that very few people use in Excel, and it's called Bing Map API. So we're going to go into depth in this feature, and in the first lesson, what we're going to do is create a fancy map chart like this one with a pie chart, and if you click here, you can get the location and the values, and obviously you can click and zoom in or zoom out in the map however you want to do it. In the next lesson, what we're going to do is look at geocoding, which means that with a click of a button, using this API, you will be able to enter some location or addresses and get the latitude and longitude for those addresses, and you'll be able to see them on a Google Map link. The other thing that we're going to do in the next lesson is make distance matrices and time matrices. So if you have a couple of destinations, you will be able to retrieve how many kilometers you have between the two destinations and how long it takes to go from one destination to the other. All this you will be able to do with no code. Why is that? Because this doesn't require a code and for the distance matrices, time matrices and geocoding, I'm going to put this tool that you can see here on the internet. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can download it and use it as is. And for those who want something more complex, I'm going to teach you a few lines of codes in this tool so you can tweak them to get better results. And this is very important if you're trying to solve a root optimization problem, for example. So you can use this tool as a base for that. So let's start with the first lesson. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this map and we're going to start from scratch. So as you can see here, I have some data. So I have product one, product two, and I have some locations. If you see, I have three types of locations. I have Chicago, which is like a city. Then I have a more detailed address, which is a small area in New York. And I have a latitude and longitude. This is just to show you that this Bing Map API takes the three types of addresses. Now, if you go for this type of address, which is a bit more detailed, sometimes it might not recognize it because of some misspelling, some comma, etc. So in this case, I'm going to teach you what you can do to circumvent this problem. But first, let's look at the map and let's create a map. So I'm going to go into insert and then I'm going to go to add ins. And as you can see, I have Bing maps. If you don't have Bing maps, you can go to get add ins. And then here you can type Bing maps. You search for it. You find it and you click on add. Once you click on add, if you go here, you will click on my add ins and you can see it here. So either I can click on it here and get the map, or I can go outside, do add ins and click on it here to get the map. So let's create a map. So it's creating a map. We're going to just move it a little bit like this and then make it a bit smaller. So I made it smaller so we can see the map. And then I'm going to add my data. So I'm going to select first product one and the address. I'm not going to select product two. And then I click on this. It's as simple as this. You do this and then you see the bubbles on your map. So now we're going to look at the features and try to change this a little bit. So if I click here on the settings, the first thing I can do is do bird's eye. So if I do this, I can transform this to this view. And personally, I prefer this view over the other one. So that's one thing you could do. The second thing you could do is you can change the color of those bubbles. So for example, if I like this color, I can just change it here. The next thing we could do is select or filter our data points. So for example, here I have Idaho, right? So I'm going to close this. If I go to the filter, I go down. This is Idaho. I unselect it and then I say apply you will see that the bubble for Idaho is gone. Next, we're going to start adding product two, and you can add as many as you want, right? So we select this, we click on the map, and then we get another circle. So why am I getting two circles? It's very simple. 
it's because in my settings I selected circle so circles is like for example if you have things that are adding up and you want to check one location versus the other now if you want to have a pie chart you can just click here and you get a pie chart and the beauty of this is that for each product I can select my color so for example here I have a blue and here I have an orange but if I wanted another color like this one for example I could do it so now let's go back and keep the orange and as you can see this is how you can create a map now I told you about the problems that you have when you have more detailed addresses so if you have this problem I advise you to start using latitude and longitude how do you get this so it's very simple here I am in Google Maps so if I go for example in this state I can go anywhere basically and then I click here I can see that I get my coordinates so this is the manual way to get this now the other way to get this is to use this tool that I have so you can write here the address you can click on this button so I'm going to show you this let's remove these data points and then if I say geocode all rows as you can see you are getting the latitude and longitude and the confidence level and you can click on this to go to the map and check whether the API really located your destination and got the right coordinates so for this lesson you didn't need any key to be able to create the map and do all this you just have to insert it from Excel however in the next lesson I'm going to teach you how to get a Bing map API key a free one and I'm going to teach you how to use some of the features of this API.